Hello YouTube, welcome to another um, GIMP Wiz tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a, a window type effect. I'm not really sure what you call it, but it's really neat. Uh, as you can see on my desktop, um, this is what we will be making. So first what we're going to need to do is go to open up GIMP and file new and leave it at the default size. And hang on, I'm going to change my background to white. Hang on a sec. All right. So first, what we're going to need to do is going to get work our gradient tool, and we are going to set the gradient to foreground to background HSV clockwise hue. So make sure that's selected, and um, change your uh, colors to whatever colors you would like. Changing mine to uh, red and blue, and it gives you a really neat effect. Change the shape to radial and start in the middle and to the right or whatever way you'd like. And you get a really neat um gradient effect. After that, we're going to need to go to filters, distorts, and um, mosaic. I'm not sure how I say it, but um, it's going to give you a, a neat effect that looks like a glossy glass type thing. There's other like squares, um, octagons and squares, triangles, uh, we're going to choose hectagons, or you can do whatever you'd like, and leave the default settings. Hit OK, and it's rendering, and you get these tiles that look really neat, and after that we're going to make a um, new, new layer, so go to your layers and hit new layer, and name it text. After that, you're going to get your text tool, draw a text box, and put whatever you'd like in here. I'm putting GIMP Wiz, and I'm going to change my color to white. And I have Lifecraft font. Um, it's one you can download, so um, you'll have to find it on your own. <laughs> and after that, we're going to need to go to... Um, to your layer and right click on the text layer not the uh, actual layer but the one that um, has a little T for the picture right click it and hit alpha 2 selection and there should be a uh, like pass around the selection go to select grow and set it to 10 and there should be a wider variety around your text Go to your paint bucket tool, change the color to black or whatever color you'd like, and click. And it should give you a nice effect to it. And um, after that, you're going to go over, click your um, uh, click your um, GIMP Wiz or whatever you named your text and right click it and hit merge down and now you have your uh, text so after that we're going to need to right click on your text layer hit alpha 2 selection go to filters distorts and that mosaic and it will make it that same effect uh, leave it at the default hit ok and as you can see, go to select and none. And as you can see, it doesn't look very great right now. So go back to your text layer. Go to colors, brightness and contrast. And um, raise the brightness up to about 60. And lower the con or uh, raise the contrast up to about 70. And this will... Um, this will give it a little more pop out and uh, just <laughs> more brighter and contrast. And after that, if you want to go to filters, light and shadow, and drop shadow, this might give a cool effect. I haven't tried this yet, so I'll try it. I'm setting them both to 10 and the blur radius at 15. We'll have to see what it looks like. That's, that's pretty neat. It gives it more of a popping out effect. 
So you can do that and then go back over to your layer, right click on your text and merge down and that will merge your shadow and your text together. And uh, well, that's how you make your glossy effect uh, text. Um, please subscribe to my channel. This is a GIMP Quiz tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.